Hey everyone, it's Fiction Crypto. And Michael Lee XRP. And today we're going to be doing a chart analysis of, over Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. We're going to be seeing if we're going to be pushing further down or if we're just taking a breather in the market and getting ready for an altcoin, uh, altcoin season. So Mike, he has the controls over the charts, and I'm going to let him explain his views, and I'll chime in as well when I have something to say. Yes, sir. All right, so we're looking at Bitcoin right here on the monthly chart. I'll be doing a top-down analysis, meaning I'm starting from the higher time frames and working my way down to the lower time frames. As you can see, I already have a few prices marked off, and the first one being around 28800 um, there is a wick right there, or actually go down to the weekly. You can see there's a few wicks down here where price was uh, fluctuating and just tapping this demand area. And we have wicks over here as well. So clearly this is a major zone, a lot of liquidity, uh, untapped liquidity that is just sitting right here waiting to be grabbed. That is where I'm looking for the first uh, bearish run. That is my first um, liquidity zone. Moving further down, you can see I have this price marked off. This was where we had the old all-time high from the end of 2017, uh, December 2017. And going back to the monthly time frame, I want to go ahead and mark off this price right here. This is the low of December 2020, and that's 17,600. Go to the weekly, you see that same wick right here where price consolidated. So clearly, this price right here in this general area is a major price level, um, a major zone, price battled right there and it did here as well so i'm expecting for this to get hit um not only do we have the all-time high where there was a lot of liquidity um a lot of you know sales were entered right here uh, profits were taken and uh, major sell orders were entered there and so clearly this is a major zone so i'm looking for that uh to actually get hit i know that's a large drop but a lot of other analysts have had uh, similar areas, and I'm confident in this because of the price history, right? Just an old all-time high and clear major um, major battling of buys and sells. And so, so go ahead. Yeah. Me personally, yeah, I'm thinking we can see um, these first price points potentially 28,000. I had a I had two different views. I was thinking if we are going to uh, see a continuation of this bull run, this price point and this level is where you want to kind of see Bitcoin come to to cool off to make another small altcoin season. But um from our chart analysis, we have been bearish since September. So, you know, this, this zone right here, the liquidity has already been hit on the top side. So we definitely want to see where Bitcoin is going to be going in the next couple of days. And this is a weekly chart right here. So, you know, it's definitely some liquidity to this downside to the 28,000 price point, 27,000 price point. So, you know, we we have to see. Hey, if y'all think that twenty eight thousand is a huge dip, just wait till uh, or even seventeen thousand six hundred is a huge dip. Wait till I show y'all Ethereum. <laughs> yeah. So let's switch over to that chart. Uh, I think I think if we do can see a continuation of this downtrend, we are going to be looking at some very scary prices. Indeed. All right, so let's start from the monthly time frame. Um, clearly, this was the old all-time high, and it left a giant wick right here. So, of course, according to liquidity logic, it got taken. And since then, it has been searching for new liquidity, right? So it's coming down here to 1,700, 
That is where the largest pool of liquidity is, major demand area. You see another wick directly after this one right there. And the largest wick right here, all the way down to 700. So let's let's continue the top-down uh, analysis method. You can see how major this was on the lower time frames right here. We got four large wicks. And continuing, look at this giant wick right here. So what happened right here is we had a large um, impulsive dump to the downside. It grabbed all of these wicks, all of this liquidity, and then created new liquidity, right? Because whatever is grabbed must be created. And that is what happened. And whatever is created must get grabbed, and vice versa. So that is why I am expecting 700 to be seen this year. I mean, this wick, you don't really see a flash crash like this too often. And that is, oh, goodness. <laughs> that is major liquidity. Just a moment while I pull up. Here we go. And yeah, these are very bearish scenarios, you know, so we like to show both sides of uh, this thing because we are in a bear market for crypto. Uh, I know we have still been in a price discovery for some of these new cryptos that are coming out and haven't been around for too long. But, you know, these top cryptos, Bitcoin and Ethereum, kind of tell you where things are going in the market. And, you know, we've, if you think about it, we've been in a bull run for two years almost. So these markets definitely have to cool down. The thing about crypto, it has DeFi options and all these staking me mechanisms where you can make money by holding these cryptos. So I expect this market to move a little different. We're still in a um, great channel for uh, bullish price appreciation, but these are some bearish scenarios of uh, where we could see this going to the downside. So, yeah, I, mean, I know it's it's a, a large fall. I mean, let's go ahead and check the percentage. That was a sixty five percent drop. I remember marking that up. And the fear and greed, the, the sentiment of the market right now, a lot of people are scared. So that's my thing. It's like, I, I'm starting to want to tend to go the opposite of what people, most people think, because when a lot of people are scared, it's like, that's when, that's when the market turns around. Everybody's selling at a loss. They're dragging it out. And then the market turns around. And, and now- Man, people are going to be really scared when this happens. Says, yeah, 71% drop. That's definitely viable in crypto. You know, that can happen. Yes, sir. It definitely can. This is a the most volatile market. All right. So, and I mean, everything has been selling off, right? The indices, the stock market's been selling off. Um, it is bearish season, no doubt. So, continuing top-down analysis. We are now on XRP. This chart's provided by Binance. And here is what we have right here. So the first price that I have is 48 cents or 48.10 cents. And you can see that this is another major liquidity pool, just like Ethereum and Bitcoin. I believe around the same time as well. But we do have a lot of uh, stop losses here. Um, just a lot of money sitting here, right? A lot of liquidity. It's very simple. Wix equal liquidity. And I will continue to express that in our technical analysis videos. So first I had this price marked up right here at 33 cents. But I changed it going down to lower time frames. You can see that the price adjusts when you go to a lower time frame. It's more specific. 
right there at 34 cents. And then you see another large wick, untapped liquidity waiting to be grabbed right here, 36 cents. So the first price that I have is 48 cents, could be 50 cents depending upon the broker, uh, the exchange. Let me go to the higher time frame. Okay. Yes, 48 cents right here. 51 cents. The, both of these, I'm looking for those to get taken out. And then continuing, 36 and 33 cent is the next liquidity zone. I'm definitely looking for that to get taken out. Yeah, I recently caught out a trade on... Um on Twitter a couple of days before this price point of 55 cent got hit uh, on XRP. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, in the market, they were looking at the upside of things. And over here at Fiction Crypto, we kind of like to show both sides of it with a non-biased opinion. Um, and, you know, that trade hit because we see where this market is going. XRP, that was a good 8 to 12% uh, trade for us uh, and a good trade call out. So, you know, we like to look at both sides of this uh, when, when we trade. So, most just, definitely. And yeah. we know a lot of um, people believe in support and resistance, but that is just pure retail logic. Uh, institutional logic is completely different from that. Institutional logic is liquidity based based on, um, you know, how the mechanics of the market work and how fear and greed works and how, um, you know, institutions take advantage of retail logic, right? They know that retailers uh, use patterns, that they use support and resistance. And so they engineer liquidity specifically to resemble things like that, to resemble, uh, to literally print out double tops, triple tops, double bottoms, all that stuff so that they can take it out, so they can continue to take out retail's money uh, because of those, um, you know, wrongfully placed beliefs, wrongfully placed um, ideologies. Yeah. So, most, most so yeah, where we think about uh, this going down to the downside, so we can kind of, you know, wrap this up and just go ahead and get about it here. Uh, yeah, and 24 cents, uh, 23.6 cents, that is my next uh, area, my next zone that I am looking uh, for a liquidity grab for price to see. And this is just a major area of consolidation accumulation. So I'm looking for somewhere in this area to price react and start forming a floor for us. But um, just, yeah, remember these prices, uh, write them down and just see yourself if they get hit. Obviously, none of this is financial advice. This is purely uh, speculation. And we make these videos, this content for educational purposes. Yeah, most definitely. We appreciate everybody. We appreciate the viewers, the subscribers. Please like and subscribe this video. You know, give us a comment and uh tell us where you think the market is going so we can uh, see if we are in line with your ideas and, and your ideologies on this market. So we appreciate this. We thank you, Mike, for uh, coming on today. So it's Fiction Crypto. And Michael Lee XRP. And we're out of here. Peace.